All's good if God's in it. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. Stand up, step out, walk on the water. Praise God. Good to see each and everybody out tonight. As uh, Brother Dave says, it is nasty out there, and we've got a, a few a mission. And uh, Lisa said Jamie uh, went towards Ohio with her husband, want prayer. And I think uh, since about the middle of the day, people have been calling and asking and requesting prayer. And may God answer and touch upon each and every one of them and fulfill their needs. And you know, we look here, there might be some absence, but the Bible said, look out and call things that aren't as though it's going to be. And uh, we entertain angels unaware. So I looked at every seat full here tonight. And uh, we're thankful for the crowd that God brings together. And uh, there's nothing like coming in his presence among his people and building faith and giving hope and loving on one another and encouraging and inspiring. Praise God. But, uh, you know, this morning... Uh, uh, we we, we kind of uh, got up in an uh, uh, ordinary way. We usually don't get up in an oppressing way, but the, uh, this morning it seemed like that uh, uh, Satan was really trying to work on me, glory to God, and uh, it didn't help things when I come to the door and I, I cracked it open because I knew it was supposed to rain. It wasn't nothing but rain and, and, and snow and slop and Praise God, that don't brighten you up much, amen. That kind of contains you and, and restricts you to what you can do, glory to God. But uh, I'm, I'm glad for God, amen, that he knows how to encourage. Uh, uh, because I, I, I begin to pray and begin to praise him and open my Bible up and glory to God. Uh, I usually go over and, and get on messenger and see if, uh, what's coming uh, my direction, praise God. And, uh, the first thing I seen uh, was old Tim's message there, and he's faithful, glory to God. And that's what we're needing, some faithful people, amen. amen. And he's always telling me how he's a praying and, and praying God's anointing and touch upon me. And they six or seven more come on there. And before you know it, glory to God, I was getting a little stirred, a little yeah. excited, a little beside myself. I was feeling the presence of God there. Tweena was at work and Cole was going. And just me and God locked up there in the house and yeah. got in there. And like Dave, I read the whole book of Philippians there and uh, glory to God I, I begin to think man I'm going to leave everything behind me <laughs> amen that's no good uh, right. that is wrong and I'm going to look to the things that be before me I'm going to press to the prize right. of the high calling uh, of yep. the mark uh, that's found in Christ Jesus yep. can somebody say amen, amen. <laughs> We all need a goal that we want to achieve, that we want to reach out to. And I don't know what yours is tonight, but glory to God, I want to make heaven my home. And I want to make Jesus my Lord. But glory to God, as, as I was coming to this, and, and I was a thinking and, and, and hearing a lot that was going off, praise God. And, and I thought, now, hey, uh, you begin to look, whether it's to the north of us in Canada, uh, to the south of us in South America, uh, if you want to look around the whole universe, uh, whether it is Russia and the Ukraine, uh, or whether it be the uh, Pakistan and Iran, or whether it be Iraq and Syria and Turkey, uh, or whether you look over there, glory to God, and, and, and you see the Koreas are going at it. Uh, uh, praise God. I mean, I mean, it's a mess out there. It's just something, glory Glory to God that, that there's there's no brightness to it at all. And praise God, uh, I think that we're at the place uh, uh, that we think it can't happen here in America. The only thing that is, it, it, it's a happening in a different way. Uh, can you hear what I'm saying? They're pulling the wool over our eyes. Uh, and the Bible says that there's going to be a slumber and a sleep uh, uh, that's going to come up on the, uh, uh, the church. And I believe, glory to God, it's wake up time. Uh, I believe God's calling upon us. Can somebody say amen? Uh, I believe God wants to stir and God wanting to move and God wanting to place us back where we used to be and somebody praise God but I look out here and I, I see that it, it, it's perplexed and then there's calamity everywhere and the Bible said that it's going to be careless that dangerous glory it's just downright dangerous amen to go outside your door not only in these nations but right here in Work County glory to God I read the magic reports I see what's on record I see what's coming our way can you hear what I'm saying? But praise God more so than that. We got an enemy outside the door that is lurking. And amen. So the Lord began to work with me this morning. And he began to flip. And if you will get your Bibles, go over to St. John. We want to start in chapter 18. Chapter 18 of the Gospel of John. Starting with the first verse. When you get there, just say amen. We'll... We'll, we'll try not to hold you past 9.30. Oh, you said 8.30. 8.30, 9.30, but praise God. But it said, when Jesus had spoken these words, 
he went forth with his disciples over the brook of, of Cedron, and where was a garden into the which he entered and his disciples. And Judas also, which betrayed him, knew the place, for Jesus oft times uh, resorted thither with his disciples. And Judas then, having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and the Pharisees, coming thither with lanterns and with torches and weapons. And Jesus, therefore, knowing all the things that should come upon him, uh, come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom seek ye? And they answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I'm he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon as then as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. Then asked he them again, Whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. And Jesus answered, I've told you that I'm he. If therefore you seek me, let these go. Let these go. Amen. Now I want to go over into a, a, a very familiar piece of scripture over into the uh, book of uh, Samuel chapter 17. A little lengthy reading here. Maybe it'd be a little shorter preach. First Samuel, first Samuel. Yeah, First Samuel chapter 17. Everybody knows the story. You can read it. You can preach it. You can teach it 1,001 times and God will give you something different. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathering together and pitched by the valley of Elah and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on, on a mountain on the one side and Israel stood on the mountain on the other side and there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath whose height was six cupids and a span. I'm going, to, I'm going to fall on down here to uh, verses 8. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel and said unto them, Why are you come out to set your battle in array? Am I not a Philistine? And ye, the servants to Saul, choose you a man for you and let him come down to me. If he be able to fight with me and kill me, then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall ye be our servants and serve us. And the Philistines said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that I may fight together. And when Saul and Israel heard these words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. So I went from messenger and I went over. And down the Facebook page and about three clicks there was Brian on there. And Brian had put Joshua on there. And glory to God. And it said, have I not given you command to be of good courage and bold? Right. Amen. Don't be dismayed or afraid for I, the Lord thy God, will be with thee wheresoever thou shalt go. Us. Glory to God. And I begin to thank glory to God when I woke and I was in struggle and I was in battle. Glory to God. God will not, cannot fail us. Amen. He'll not forsake, but he'll always, you can trust, you can confide. Amen. I want you to know tonight that God is here. Amen. I think God is here. And glory to God, he's not going to let you down. Jesus said, I've lost none that my father's given me. Amen. He's right there in the gap for you tonight. If you're down, he's down with you. If you're behind, he's behind with you. He said, I'll leave the 90 nine and come after the one. Right. Amen. He yeah. said it didn't come for the righteous but it come for the lost. Glory to God. I want you to know tonight he's not looking for the well. He's looking for the sick. He didn't come to condemn. He come to say. Can somebody pray to God? Amen. I said Lord it's good to know that you're on my side. 
<laughs> Amen. And, and I got here and, and I started thinking. Uh, amen. I've had a lot of time to sit into the house. Uh, uh, praise God and go stare crazy. Uh, uh, Tina ain't even there to argue with. Uh, but praise God. But there it is. Uh, amen. Uh, me and the doggy sitting there and I thought I'm sick and tired of every show that I flip through the channel. I don't even like hunting no more. Praise God. I'm sick of it. Amen. Glory to God. And, and here it was. Uh, amen. It come up on my heart. Like, hey, I got some recordings. And praise God, I went over it, and it was on wider. Man, I I, I love wider. Praise be to God. And I started watching old wider there from, from, from beginning to end. And praise God. I thought, well, now I just don't want to watch wider. I got it's already after midnight. I might as well go over and watch Tombstone. And I watched Tombstone. And praise be to God. I began to look at this and see the difference there. But it was about the same person. Kevin Costner in one and Val Kilmer in the other. And the way they started the stories and the way they ended the story was what was somewhat alike, but it was yet different. Amen. I want you to know, I might preach it one way, Sam might preach it another, and you might preach it another, but it's the same Jesus. Can you hear what I'm saying? Praise God, as I begin to get into this, amen, I start to look at, 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 at a wide earth as he began to grow from his daddy's farm, amen, and how he come in to be a constable at about the age of 30, and how that he began to be a policeman, and how he became the de deputy his shirt, but it said from 1848 to 1881 he lived, glory to God but at 33 years of age he was a full blown shirt down in Tucson, can you hear what I'm saying and praise be to God I started to think about Jesus coming in at 30 and at 33 you see at 30 he was Jesus but at 33 he was Jesus Christ the resurrected can somebody say amen and I thought this Jesus, amen glory to God had a name, he had an identity. He had he had a reputation. Can somebody praise God? So the Lord began to speak to me about being called out. I think we're in difficult and trying and challenging times right now. I believe, glory to God, there's a lot of things about us that we build upon is being called out. And praise be to God. Here was old Saul, and here was the children of Israel, and they served the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the same God that parted the waters, the same God that died down the walls, the same God that brought the Hebrew out, the same God that took Daniel in and out, the same God that walked in the fire with the Hebrew. My God is the same today. He was yesterday and forevermore. If God was with them, God was with us. If God delivered them, God will deliver us. Come on now. Amen. Yes. I started thinking as Wyatt Earp worked himself up in both movies, he worked himself up a name. And glory to God, he had an identity. Amen. I want you to know we got a name tonight. And I'm not talking about Island Room or Want It Grow. I'm not talking about JB or Sam or Zeb. I'm not talking about Tim. I'm not talking about Robert or Brad. But glory be to God, I'm talking about a name above every other name. Only name wherewith man can be saved by. The name the devils do believe. And they fear and tremble. I'm talking about a name. Amen. That and change your life and turn you around and give you a new begin. Come on. Amen. I thought, glory to God. This man was one time on this side of the bad, even killed some. Amen. Glory to God. I, I thought how he come in and, and, and put this badge on and he he represented the good. He he represented the law. Glory to God. And and he was there. But I will tell you what he was doing. He was drawing every evil and wicked and cutthroat, low down, snake crawling. Amen. And they was lurking in the bushes. Amen. Because they wanted to make a reputation for themselves. If somebody could kill wider, man, they'd be right up there on the hero stage. Amen. Everybody be a looking at them. And glory to God. Everybody.
everything that was in the woodwork all around the region in the west was out to kill wider. And praise God, I thought how that Jesus right here at betrayal was being called out. Can you hear what I'm saying? He was being called out. He was going to be tried. He was going to be challenged. I want you to know that we're being called out. Our government's being called out. Our education's being called out. Amen. Our medical's being called out. Hey, I want you to know the church is being called out. The family's being called out. The husband's being called out. The wife's being called out. The children's being called out. The devil is coming out for us. I know it is. We don't see him as an equal foe. And I, I started to, to listen to God there, and, and God took me back here at the first of the year when He gave me them pictures of what was and, and what he is. Glory to God. And, uh, and I thought, glory to God, if we could just take a look at this uh, and we could just see, uh, amen, how America was was at one time. Uh, amen, how she was founded. Uh, yeah. But in God we trust, uh, a wind that the red, white, and blue uh, blew high uh, in the glory of God's yeah. presence. Uh, amen, when family uh, was family uh, and there was love uh, and kindness. Uh, amen, among uh, there was a peace in our nation. Glory be to God. But something has took place. I thought when my grandpa and them, yeah, back in the 60s, early, the latter 50s, glory to God. I, 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 you know, it was a different ordeal. It was a different setting. It was a different place. Uh, uh, praise be to God. Uh, uh, America then, uh, amen, was, was, was glorious. Hallelujah. Men and women, uh, amen, had come World War I and World War II. And we was united. We was one mind and one accord. Amen. We was neighbors. We was friends. We was brothers and sisters. But something has took place. Something has weakened the foundation of our nation. Something has brought fright and scaredness and dismay and discouragement that we have weakened in our morals huh? and our standings in this country. I'm, I'm talking about being called out, folks. Amen. I want you to know that the white earth had, had come up against a lot of people. And praise God, the thing of it was, his name held up. He was faster than most. He carried two pistols. And he could find them things good. But <laughs> glory to God, I want you to know one day, there in Tucson, he was called to the OK Corral. And glory be to God, they thought they had overtook him. And I thought about Jesus. When they got called out, they had beat him unto a pot. They had belittled and degraded and mocked him and prayed God brought him before the court called out. They thought they had it. They thought they had somebody was going to defeat him. Can you hear what I'm saying? I want you to know tonight, if God is for you, ain't no weapon going to do you no harm. You can come through the storm. You can cross over the other side. You can get on the mountain tonight. You can lift up holy hands. You can proclaim victory because our God has never lost and never will lose. He never fails. And it never will fail. He's a conqueror. And more than a conqueror. He's the great I am. He is the creator of the heaven and the earth. But come on. Man. Amen. The same God. Amen. He created the heaven and the earth. A man created man from the dust of the ground. And the same God that created man from the dust of the ground called to sleep upon him. And a rib he took and clothed it with flesh. And he called it a woman. The same God instituted marriage between a male and a female. And praise God, something's wrong in America that we brought this abomination. This thing called it. This thing called transsexual. This thing called homosexual. He he said they lose our natural affection. It'll be men with men and women with women. It's a bottle. It's God judging. It's wrathful. And God will destroy. Yes, amen. Uh, That's right. Same God. I don't know why that we think he's going to change for us. Yeah. Why earth couldn't change if he wanted to. 
he had he had to come that day to the challenge. He was called out. He didn't stand up to the call out. Everybody would lose confidence. Dodge would have went hell. Huh? <laughs> Praise God. I want you to know Jesus had no choice. He was called out. Amen. Glory be to God. And when he was judged and sentenced and went to the cross, he was being called out. Can you hear what I'm saying? The cross couldn't hold him. They put him in the grave. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I want you to know three days and three nights he went down and took the keys. He said, Death, where's your grip? Amen. Where's your sting? Hallelujah. You can't hold Jesus. You can't nail Jesus. You can't Bury Jesus. Come on! Uh, you gonna knock something off? Well, I like y'all. <laughs> yeah. That's my cleanup team. Praise the Lord. So yeah, here I am. I'm I'm thinking about being being called out. And praise God that you may not realize it, but 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 you're going to be tested. You're oh, yeah. going to be tried. You're going to be called out. Yeah. You're going to be put on the spot. Amen. The devil doesn't like the church. He doesn't like the institution of family. He don't like glory to God, moms and dads, husbands and wives. He don't like matrimony. He'd rather you live together and shack up. He would rather you have babies out of wedlock. But I want you to know tonight, God's got an order. I said God's yeah, got an amen. order. Amen. He said the man will be the head of the house. The woman will be subject. But glory to God, if that man don't love the wife, as Christ loved the church, and if she don't love the husband, as the church loved him, it's wrong. Amen. amen. You don't hear this kind of preaching no more. I, I can't uh, say the words that Tim and Sam and Robert and some of you use. You, you've got dialects of wisdom of, of the time that you live in. I'm from the 50s. I'm old school. I'm plain and I use ain't a lot. Can you hear and praise be to God, I want you to know, I don't know no other way. This is how God brought me up. This is how He weaned me. This is what He put me on. All I know is to walk that padded path and to follow Him. Pick up my cross. Deny myself. I'm up, I'm down. I'm hungry in front. But Paul said, I'm found their place where the hunger is full. I'll lift up to the glory of the other names. I'll lift the name of the Come on! Well, I've learned to be content whatsoever the state. My wife's wanting to quit her old job. She'll be, I'm going to say that. <laughs> February 28th. And she deserves it. Now she quit. She's quit. We'll make it. Huh? Praise God. I want you to know, folks, when I use the word quit, I don't use it lightly. We've got too many people quit. Right. Giving up. Amen. Amen. Because they're being called out. And praise be to God that when you're called out and, and you don't have confidence and you don't have trust and you don't have the reliance upon the God you serve. But Paul said we might be in the midst of the storm. The boat might fall apart. But I'm going to believe God in whom I serve Amen. and whom I belong. I'll encourage you. I'll exhort you. I believe it's going to be exactly how it was told me. There's not going to be a loss of one soul. Amen. That is covered in the blood that's been forgiven, that got their name written down, that is looking Amen. up. Can somebody say Amen. I know. I start preaching called out and you get all excited and beside yourself. The rapture, the rapture, the rapture. Right. Woo! <laughs> With the sound of the voice of Archangel and the trump of God, the dead's going to rise and the whole house comes up. Uh huh? <laughs> you ain't there and for how it was when grandpa was they they didn't pray or, or, or they didn't act like we do today back then it was all about the family unit it was all about the welfare of the country and holding unitedness 
They prayed to God above for the heaven that was above their head that it would bring some shine and rain. They prayed that God would touch Mother Earth and yield its fruit to them. Right. They prayed, glory to God, that their families would have welfare and healing and mending. Praise God. They wasn't so much a griping about the devil, but they sure preach hellfire and brimstone. Can you hear me? Amen. Somebody said, I don't want to hear that brother Clark Temple eat nothing but a hellfire and brimstone. If you don't believe in a hellfire and brimstone, if you don't believe in everlasting damnation, you don't believe in God. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Called out. Over the period of time of what was, we've come to what is, and now we're being called out. A generation that's going to fulfill everything. We'll never see the end time, but we're in the last days. We are going to open the door to the end time. Can you hear what I'm going to say? But before we get there, glory to God, it's the duty of the devil to come steal, kill, and destroy and to accuse. It, it, it's the duty of the devil to divide and split and to weaken and bring havoc. It's the duty of the devil amen, to crawl like a snake and eat dust from the ground. It's the duty of the devil to imitate and carbon copy a man and transform himself to an angel of light. It's the duty of the devil to come in and change the word of God and lead you astray. But the Bible says, my sheep will not hear a stranger. They know my yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah. And they're going to come on. Yeah. Hold out. I knew just as soon as I got up this morning, I had an enemy. Yeah. Uh, first thing you do, you go beating yourself up, thinking that's the enemy. He is an enemy. And Paul said, I crucify him daily. Amen. But here's the thing. The Bible said that Saul and the children of Israel had now come to a place that they, they served the name. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God of heaven and God of earth. Creator of man. Amen. The one that parted the waters down the walls. The one that took 300,000 and brought it down to 300. And give Gideon a victory. Praise be to God. And there was a little respect there. There was a little fright there. But praise God, they just didn't call out Saul and his army. They was mighty. They was fierce. And glory to God, when them and God get done, I'm telling you, as Elijah, the fire would come down from top to bottom. It would take the sacrifice. It would lap up the water and the dust and dry the rock. Can somebody say, we need some fire to come down into the church. Amen. We need the Holy Ghost to come in here and give us a Amen. Why? Because what she said, we become cowards with no backbone or heart. Why? So we're being called out. Huh? Saul and them had never been in this place. I don't know if you feel it, but I feel it. Today's different. And I, I've been preaching for 40 years, but today is different. Thank God for you young ones coming up. But I'm telling you, you better buckle up. You better harness up. You better go from head to foot and cover up in the butt. Because I'm telling you, you're going to be called out. Absolutely. Amen. That's a fact. Uh, what, what, what they say about statistics, uh, every day, seven out of ten ministers is resigning. Ah, what they said the other day, everybody following Trump and everybody following Biden and everybody following the election, but I was looking for God in it. And praise be to God what I found out that in Iowa, a, 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 white, a white state, a state that was founded up on God, only 46% of the people claim to be reborn again. Out of 100, 46%. I thought, all right, let's see what Vermont does. And they come over to Vermont, and only 26% of the people claim to be reborn again. And you tell me there's not a falling away? You telling me, glory to God, that something's not in the making? You telling me there's not an enemy outside of our door? Are you telling me there's not a cry being made, a defiance being made, a challenge coming our way? We better stand tall. We better stand firm. We better occupy our ground. We better make our mark in the sense because he's coming after you. Uh, he just said unto the rich man, 
want to build bigger barns. Go ahead and do it. But when it comes to the day that I call upon you, then whose things will these be? For everything in this world is temporal here today and they're going tomorrow. Life is but a vapor. You better count the cost. Amen. You better calculate good. For a man that would gain the whole world, what would he give in exchange for his own soul? If there's ever a time that we've got multitudes weighing in the balances in the valley of decision, waiting to be persuaded, it's right now. Amen. All eyes is upon the church. They want to see how we take this challenge, how we come through this test. They want to know, glory to God, in our being called out, if we got the goods, if we got the blood, if we got the name, if we got if we got the spirit, if we got the unity, if we got prayer, if we got an accord, if we got, come on now. Amen. Hold on. Lord told me that's the day we're living. Hold out, put on the spot. We're going to do that. Huh? You may have to lead devotion. You may have to say. You may have to come down here and amen yourself. What you say? We're looking for something to take place that's not going to happen until God activates someone from behind the scene. And then they wonder, as Timmy was talking to me, why are people coming this way and that way and every way, coming into Island Run and little places like Walnut Grove because the anointing's there. And God's placing in the body as it pleases Him. And God's getting ready to raise up an army. Not an army of 300,000. But He's going to have a few. And He said, where there's a few, maybe even two or three, I'll be there in the midst. And if God's in the midst, He said, you can ask what you will. Take up on it. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, buddy. God's building the church. Yeah, yeah. The church in the gates of hell. And not will not prevail again. The church glory of God that sins follow. They will send in new coming. They will cast out death. They will take up sins. They will drink in a deadly time. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Yep. Amen. Somebody said, Well, why you step out and pray for somebody that don't happen and ain't on me, it's on him. Yeah. Right. He told me just to pray. Yeah, that's what to lay said. hands that's what it and says. believe. That's what it says. Rest of it between you and him, honey. Yep. Can you hear me? That's right. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're being called out. Amen. We're used to the old timers where I come from. I was used to them taking the lead, being in front. And they go, we we was further back in the country than this is. <laughs> Down there at Reamer, glory to God, and they they come out of them hollows and they come through them valleys and they come from the creek and the mountainside and they filled that little church that they had the seats filled and all the chairs they could carry out and he's outside looking through the window and they was a gazing and taking it in and God was a moving but there was a peace there was a calm there was a stillness in the church they were secure and snug as a bug in the rug. I never once heard the preachers out there, or Grandpa now, had fear of the devil. Huh? They knew who they said. Amen. They knew who they said. Amen. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. They, they, they wasn't worried about something knocking them off course. They'd been here before when it didn't rain and it was a famine. They'd been there when there wasn't no water on the ground. They'd been there when the fig tree didn't bring forth no fruit. They'd been there, glory to God, when the mountain was high and the valley was deep. You know what they'd done about it? They prayed and they sought God and rain come from heaven just like the manna and the quail. And somebody say, water come from the rock. When you pray to God, things happen. Hallelujah. We got to get that back in the church. Why? Because we're at a period of time that we're being called out. Everybody knew about the Philistines. They knew about cancer, COVID, heart disease. Huh? 
They knew, they, they knew about the inner problems of, of, of marital and homes are splitting and, 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 and childless. Uh, glory to God. I mean, they, they had no homes and so they, they knew everything that was going out, all out there in, in the economy and education and, and the medical and the government. Glory to God. But, but here's one thing they didn't know. They was bringing a change. Amen. Unlike yeah. unlike any Philistine that they ever met. They was bringing a champion that stood a shoulder and a head above Saul. Yeah. And Saul was a man of war that everybody respected and honored. And all of a sudden, it wasn't the church calling them out no more, but this champion come and stood on the ground, a ground that we should occupy. We should not yeah. give yeah. way. Amen. We need to make a stand. We need to plead the blood. We need to lift the cross. We need to rise up in the name of Jesus and let the devil know you can't push up. You they pull us away. We're here planted up on the rock. Amen. 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 When that champion come, it changed everything. Yeah. All of Israel began to be dismayed, discouraged, and afraid. Look out here, folks. I've seen it. I've seen it when it hit. COVID hit, and the church is empty. They didn't hold their ground. They didn't hold their rank. They didn't hold the accord. Amen. They weakened and, and they backed up. And glory to God. They showed weakness and the devil just overrun. Masked them up. Bound them up. Closed them up. Locked them up. And some of them ain't even back yet. Scared plumb to death. How they're being called out. Uh, and there's only one place they can go to, to find confidence and trust and reliability. There's only one that they can believe in tonight. Uh, yeah. And that Jesus Christ. Uh, the Pope can't do it. The rabbi can't do it. Yeah. The bishop can't yeah. do it. The superintendent can't do it. The apostle can't do it. The prophet can't do it. The pastor can't do it. The pastor can't do it. The teacher can't do it. The church can't do it. But Jesus can. Amen. Called out. How many feel like you're being called out? Amen. <laughs> Challenge, being tried. Huh? Yeah. It's it, it, it's a disheartening place to be. Sometimes God will let it push you and push you and push you and see how far you'll go. Right. That's a fact. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And he and he cried out. And he said, I defy the armies of Israel. And the God they said, he pushed them and he pushed them and he pushed them until he stopped way off the mark. The church has got so far off the mark. Amen. They, they don't even preach Jesus. They don't even preach the blood. Amen. They don't preach God the creator. Amen. They don't preach the coming of the comforter. And the feeling of the Holy Ghost. They don't preach the gifts. They don't preach the fruit. They don't preach righteousness and holiness. We back way off. We weaken. We 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 didn't hold the ground. We don't occupy. We don't stay. We're just a church. We're just a temple. We're just something. Amen. With a steeple on it. No, my friends, you are the church of a living God. He indwells in you. He's endued you. He's empowered you. He's invested in you that you can overcome. Take the death. Amen. Amen. What do we do? You see, I get two perceptions here. And I see Saul and Israel over here, but I see what God's trying to do. He's trying to place, position, and bring everything back to normal. The way it should be. The devil should be under our foot. Amen. Huh? Amen. We should be submitting to God right now, drawing nigh and submitting. 
Telling the devil to flee glory to God instead of every time we come in. Amen. There's another casualty. There's somebody else that's been took. Somebody that's been down. Somebody that's been destroyed. Every time we get life back into the church and life in the abundance. Every time we get resurrection power and going to destroy the yoke. We need to come to the place that the Holy Ghost stands with, stands by, and stands for. Yeah. Amen. Uh, all that. All that. You got no choice. When you're called out to a challenge, yeah. you got no choice. That's a fact. Because here's what the devil's telling you. Yeah. It's you or me. And if you get me, I'll serve you. But if I get you, you're going to serve me. Yeah. And Jesus gave us a little warning ahead of time in the gospel. He said, you cannot spoil the strong man's house until you buy it. Right. Until you buy it. Yeah. Amen. Satan was working that to the T. He come right in there and threw the chains and the fetters and threw them in the prison. Glory to God. Amen. He said, you'll never hear. You'll never see from. You'll never be bothered by Paul and Silas again. But Paul and Silas begin to stir something up down in the midst of the darkness. But nobody thought there was any hope or any way out. But when they begin to pray, when they begin to sing, the house begin to shake. Something begin to happen. God come down. Holy Ghost. And the prayers come off. And they would loose. And they come on. Amen. Paul uh, out. 2024. Mark it down. We're going to be called out. Amen. Through our government. It's right on. Through our medical. Through our educational. And through religion. Yeah. Where our president was running tonight for votes to the Muslim nation. Huh? Think what you will, Trump. But he still believes in evangelistical power. That some way God's going to work this thing and I'm going to get back into office. Just keep believing. I'll agree with you. Can you hear what I'm going to say? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Enough is enough. I'm sick and tired of hearing the devil defy us. I'm tired. Amen. Amen. And ready to puke it up. Glory to God. How that he has weakened the morals in America. How he's made it racial. How he's made it. Glory to God. There's no gender anymore. Come on now. Don't get quiet on me. There's just a few of you here and I know who's saying amen. <laughs> Dear Lord, I got eyes to see, oh, ears to hear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm calling you out. Yeah, that's right. So they they had time. I believe there's a little time. There's a little time for the church to make a decision. Amen. Yeah. Amen. What they're going to do. Yeah. Glory to God. But I believe by election time, we better have our minds made up. Yeah. Because I believe it's on after that. I believe there's going to be a battle set at red. Why do I believe that? Because the Bible said that, that, that Israel and, and Saul was not going to make a move. It wasn't in them. Praise yeah. be to God of all God ever done. They just couldn't bring theirself to come down and to face that devil. I'm not looking, amen, for the Pentecost, the word, the faith, the assemblies. I'm not looking for the Baptists or the Methodists or the Presbyterian. Amen. But I'm looking for the church, the church of the living God. Yeah. I'm looking for something that's been born again, filled with the Spirit, something that is covered in the blood, something that's stained on the name. You can have your denomination, you can have your affiliation. You can have your degrees. You can have your education. Give me Jesus. Amen. Amen. Give yeah. me Jesus. A lot of people's after big crowds. I'm just out to please the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm out to satisfy Him. To submit and apply myself to His will. Glory to God. Grandpa and them come through that real good. I'm Grandpa Pass. I was a young man out of the way of the Lord. Time progressed, and time wasn't good to me. I thought I was going to swallow it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and time progressed. 
as time progressed, as J.B. said a while ago, I was lost as lost could be. Huh? Why do I believe in the power of prayer? Well, somebody prayed for me. Yeah. Somebody prayed me in. That's and right. somebody prayed for the Lord to salvage my life and to cleanse me out. Can you hear what I'm saying? There's somebody out there that is relying upon this church. Amen. They know that we're in a predicament. They know that we're in a place that, that everything is trying and challenging us. Amen. From the pulpit to the back of the seat. They want to make this an open, amen, an open area. They want to place things that's defiled and polluted, things that is abominable. But glory be to God, as long as there's one man standing, as long as there's one woman standing, Fathers of the few coming together. The devil will never take the pulpit. He'll never take the throne of God. Can someone shoot? Amen. So it's called out. And God looked to all Israel like He is now. Huh? I mean, there's a lot of churches in, in, in congregating tonight. And God's looking at every one. Who is it down there that'll go out and be a vessel of honor for me? Who's going to step up? My God, look how I stood with Saul. Mm -mm. Look at the ranks of his captains of the army. Mm -mm. Look at his experienced army men. Mm -mm. Who's it going to be? A nobody, unqualified shepherd boy from back over in the hill. Down there, glory to God, on Route 53 beside the creek, and they call it Won't It Grow. <laughs> no, they don't. They call it out of nothing. Now, you can't hold that against me. Hey, man, that's my church. But glory to God. I want, this is my church. Thank you, Lord. But glory to God, the thing of it is that God's a looking and he's beginning to call out just like the devil's calling out. Yes. Amen. Yes. He put them on a spot. We're on a spot tonight. Amen. Either we're, either we're going to prove ourselves out. Either we're going to make a saying. Either we're going to lift the banner or we're going to flee. But glory to God, I think he's got a few people chosen. I think he can take the 300 and win the battle. I think, glory to God, it's going to be encouraged. It's going to be inspired. It's going to be motivated. And glory to God, when word gets out, people's going to come. I said, people's going to come. But until little David takes a stand, until David slams the stone, amen, ain't nothing going to happen. We're going to have to slay the champion. We're going to have to cut his head off. We're going to have to bring back salvation and restoration, healing and mending, and the supernatural work of the impossible and the miraculous. Amen. Amen. And somebody say, amen. So there was. Saul and Israel called out. Multitude of army there. Experienced. And God didn't bring another one up. Right. One. But if one will chase a thousand, two chase ten thousand. Amen. 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 Yeah. Well, uh, David said, You come at me <laughs> with your sword and your spear and your shield. I come to you in the name of the God of Abraham, Amen. Isaac, and Jacob. God of heaven and God of earth. Yeah. Hey Amen. You say you're going to take my head and feed my carcass to the fowls of the air. But I'm telling you, not this day. And not this day. This yeah. is the day the Lord has made yeah. for me. I'm going to rejoice today. When I bring you down, yeah. when I take your own sword and cut your head, when I feed your carcass to the to the foul of the air, when I raise up in victory, glory to God, your enemy will be defeated. You are Defeated all evil, all wickedness. Come on, church. Amen. Call out. Amen. Called out through the cross. Called out through the tomb. Ain't nobody come off the cross. And they called him out. He saved others. Let him save himself. Huh? Glory to God. Put him in the tomb. Rolled a stone up. Put guards around. Glory to God. Let me tell you. I hear one named Lazarus come out. Amen. And was here temporarily. But glory to God. What we put in the ground stays in the ground. We're going to show you. You've lost all hope. Amen. There's not a chance. And, 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 come on. Man. Praise God. That you, you'll ever see this man again. He's done. He's over with. He's three days dead. Glory to God. It's washed up. It's over. It's fulfilled. It is finished. Praise be to God. But I want you to know. 
Jesus said, if I go in, I'll be there three days and three nights in, in, in the bowels of the earth. I'm going to come back with the keys. Amen. I'm going to resurrect. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. As he resurrected, it was the same God that David served, that Peter preached, that Paul met. Yeah. It's the same God Amen. that's here tonight. And he said, I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm the life. Oh, God, there is only the God and Son that none can bear. But whoever believeth on him have everlasting life. Do you believe? Amen. Yeah. He said, I'm he alive, dead, and alive forevermore. Yes, I'm going in that grave. Yes. I'm going to bring you victory. Amen. That you don't Amen. have to worry about going to sleep. Amen. For when you go into that grave, in like manner. I'm going to come out and resurrect yes. the Lord. I'm going to make you in Praise be to God. We don't have nothing to fret. We don't have nothing to be scared. All we got to do is make a stand. So you do slay me. So I do die. So I go in the grave. It ain't the end of the book. It's a new chapter started. In heaven I'll be. With Jesus I'll be. Life everlasting. Life eternal. Come on. Say. Amen. Call out. If you don't feel it in your personal life, in your family life, in your work life, you don't feel it in your church atmosphere, you just numb up to your brain. Because there is a unifying coming together that's going to be aggressive. But don't think COVID's going to come along. Don't think that COVID, uh, cancer's going to come by itself. Don't think that heart disease and sugar is coming by themselves. They've got a champion that's getting ready to ride in. Absolutely. Yeah. They call him the Antichrist. Yeah. Right. They call him the Antichrist. And he stands quite big, bigger and taller. And he's vicious and he's mean and he's full, just plumb full running over with evil and wickedness. Yeah. Huh? There's only one thing that can stop him. And it ain't I and it ain't you, but it's Jesus who is. Yeah, it's right. Jesus. Amen. It's the blood, right. the spirit, it's the word. Thank God for his promise and his shirt. Call it out. Amen. Glory to God. Good word, buddy. Call it out. <laughs> She'll be looking at the pearl hand. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> the, 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 the thing of it is, folks, wide earth held his ground. He, he destroyed the cowboys that come against him that day. He walked out of there sure. Got to you boogers. <laughs> he got to retire. Out. Which you like the best? Yeah. I, I think I'm liking the double gear. Okay. Any blessing? And I'll be I'll be 69 here in June. I don't move like I used to. I'm still pretty fat. <laughs> Pray for these boys. Yeah, we do. Yeah. It ain't bad one, but when you got a duplicate. Yeah. Praise God. What you saying, brother? I love y'all. Love you too, baby. I want you to pray. Pray hard for me. Because I know I'm being called out. I'm being challenged. You don't know what it done to me when Brother Everett stepped down and passed the mantle. Over to Joey. Oh, I love Joey. I love I love what's going on. I've seen the pastor do that same thing to me. I'm getting up to the age as I go. That probably God's going to put it on my mind that the world just tears and things stand. That the man was going to have to be passed over. I, I, I don't believe in retirement. And I, it ain't no quit in it. Right. I will preach. Can you hear what I'm saying? But I know. Amen. Without a shadow of death, uh, a doubt, uh, death is on my trail. Amen. I know I'm going to be called out, and I know I got a grave to face. Yeah. And the only assurance, promise, and confidence I have 
is in Jesus. Yes, is in Jesus. Amen. I know if I close my eyes and take my last breath yeah. uh, and the beat goes out of my heart and I get stiffer in the boat. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. God's going to call me out one of these days. He's going to rise me up. Yeah. Amen. He's going to lift me into the heavens. He's going to place me beside him. Going to come back riding on one of them horses. Can somebody praise yeah. God? I say, can somebody shout him? Come on, son. Glory to God. Well, you want a big altar call? We ain't going to give one. <laughs> Why? You're called out. You should have done been there if you needed. That's just the way 